Yeah. 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 What's going on, y'all? We got episode 27 tonight with the lovely Miss Brittany Knight, y'all. We, we're gonna go over so much, and I would like you to introduce yourself tonight because I know no one can do a better introduction than you can for yourself. Okay, now, um, before we begin, do you want to introduce us to you? Oh, no, I, 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 I can give his own little, give his, I can okay. give him okay. you know what I'm saying? Because okay. it's, it's, it's a triumphant thing, you know what I'm saying? Okay, well, <laughs> got a child. All right. Uh, <laughs> So yes, my name is uh, so Brittany Knight. I am a personal banker at Fifth Third Bank. Mm -hmm. I'm at the Euclid branch. My personal bank, my favorite bank. <laughs> I'm like, right. I'm not going to you, I'm going to her. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, I love the loyalty. I appreciate <laughs> it. Right, I appreciate right. it. Um, I have been there for four years. I have been in banking for eight and a half years. I didn't realize how much time flies. <laughs> um, but yes, lo nice long time. Um, I, I'm definitely honored that you um, definitely asked me on here. This is this is great, and I hope that everyone will get something out of what we discussed today. I'm really hoping that it's something that you know people can be able to use um, to better their livelihood. Absolutely. And then on top of that, guys, this is a really special episode because we got a special guest host, the very first ever. You know what I'm saying? He's on episode 22, Mr. Nick Drake. What up, house. what up, what up? So, you know, um, man, God is good. Uh, we're here at the Drake Center. At the and, Drake Center, um, y'all. You know, <laughs> today is going to be something electrifying, and I'm sure, I'm sure, if you got your pen and your pad ready, pick up everything that she's going to be giving you. Because right. of the conversations that we've had so far, I'm telling you, you in for a treat. You're in for a treat tonight, y'all. So let's get right into it. So I know that me and you, we, we have had countless conversations about this, eventually we're going to cover, but... I just, that's not the reason why I'm having a short because you have told me so many great things from personal banking to business banking that I'm like, we got to have you on. So uh, we can go right into it because a lot of our viewers, they are, they are entrepreneurs. They are uh, either beginning or, you know, they're, they become stagnant to where funding is a very big issue they have. They have to have. But they're like, I need, I don't have enough to get to cover this or I don't have enough to cover that or I don't have enough to cover this product. So I know uh, one of the things I wanted to go over tonight is if I'm an entrepreneur, how do I go about getting funding? How was the process for that? What do I need to do? And how do I go about that? Okay, so definitely great questions. Mm -hmm. um, I get them a lot. In fact, uh, with the pandemic, there was such an increase in um, business um, business owners and people wanting to start their own businesses. Mm -hmm. And so I definitely that see the volume. Help, right? Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Um, so I was out Trump. <laughs> <laughs> so, first things first, of course, um, most people that come in my office, they want to set up a business checking account. So, um, with the business checking account, what we do need is, first things first, an EIN number. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you get that for free on irs.gov. I've heard oh, people wow. pay, yeah, I've heard people paying hundreds of dollars for an EIN number that's given for free. So, so please, please. I know Mark is not here, but... I like to say this every single time. So Marquita doesn't understand what EIN number is. What is an EIN number? What, how does that function for a business or whatnot? I know a lot of people, they're like, EIN, what is, what is that specifically? Yeah, so the EIN number is basically um, the employer identification number. It is basically a social security number for your business um, to kind of just break it down into the latest terms. Um, and like I said, it's, for, it's free and it takes a matter of minutes. Mm -hmm. And you most of the time get it instantly. So mm -hmm. it's not a long waiting period um, like it used to be way back when. So if someone's charging y'all like $23 to do something that's free, don't Please do it. Please don't do it. Please. Oh my gosh, I almost <laughs> fell on my chair when I was hearing <laughs> the amount of money people are spending. Well, All people right. are paying for what they don't know. That yeah. is true. That is well, so true. That is you true. Are, like the free step, IRS gov. <laughs> go to the page, mm -hmm. look for EIN number. Yes. And follow the steps. Very easy steps. So um, as simple as it is, that is step one. Step two, you want to register your business name through um, the Secretary of State of Ohio. Okay. 
um, because that way it basically helps you to kind of keep that particular name for your business so no one else can duplicate it. Mm, okay. You know what or I mean? whatever state you're in. Yes. Right? Exactly. And that is where you'll usually pay some type of filing fee. So that is where you want to bring out that card. Mm. Okay. Um, now, once you do that, once you do those two steps, um, of course, definitely come in and see me. We set up that business checking account because you do want to start um, separating your personal from business mm. expenses and make this so much easier. Um, you will definitely um, not regret that decision as well. Uh, so, I'm not going to say certain people, I'm going to talk about myself here now, y'all. I know when I did taxes this year, if when you conflate the two, when you guys make your personal with, with business, you, your tax, your uh, tax preparer is looking like what was personal with mm -hmm. business. Simplify it, get the business account, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you'll save yourself a headache. You'll save your tax preparer a lot of headaches. Also. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> or if it happens to yourself, you can save yourself that headache as well. Exactly. Or just write it all off. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, 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 y'all be need, need, need to jail. Don't, don't listen, don't listen, don't listen, nigga, man. Y'all be need to jail. You don't have y'all in a handcuff like Wesley Snipes, man. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, okay, no, I'm not. You seek your advisor, somebody who's licensed and professional. Right. There you go. That's right. Um, okay, so we get the business account set up. Um, typically, my next question I get from clients is, okay. How do I start paying for business expenses? Mm. I you know I want to keep coming out of my own pocket. Um, so that's when I typically do have to ask where their personal credit is. Mm. Um, because with banks, typically they are going to be looking at your personal. Mm. They are. Um, because again, business lending is a lot more riskier for banks. Mm. So we want to make sure that they can guarantee that they're going to get that repayment of the loan. Right. Um, now, what I also have come across is that most people, their personal isn't where they would like it to be. Um, most of the time, this is in maybe a poor shape or um, maybe just touching the fair. So, poor is roughly like around that 500 mark, five to low sixes. Fair shape is at least 650 or higher. Mm -hmm. For business lending on, for most typical banks, they're looking for a minimum of 680 or higher. So, 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 so very I'm gonna pause right there because I think a lot of people who are probably here, they're probably like, oh, like the money up. 680. And I think that, I, I need you guys to understand that, like she said, the risk is higher for business lending because you got to think about it. Uh, what, what are you actually leveraging to show the bank that you can't, you know, pay them back, right? It's your business. If you haven't been in business for a very long time, it is very risky, right? Mm -hmm. um, I know for a lot of first time entrepreneurs, you're just barely breaking even a lot of times. Yeah. So keep that in mind, guys. Yeah. And so, um, again, because of that, a lot of people also, when they come in the offices, um, maybe they already have existing accounts with, you know, with us. And they're like, hey, you know, I've been a customer for X amount of years. Um, you know, I should be able to apply for this loan. Bank, that, that plays a very small part, unfortunately, in when they're making the, the decisioning with the underwriting team. So that's another um, unfortunate thing that it, it does play a part in it, but it's not the, the soul. Um, what they're looking for is income and looking for, you know, your credit score to be up there. Um, when we really start to break down the whole what they're looking for bank-wise for business loans, they're looking for credit history, um, four to five trade lines, mm. if not more, um, showing that you're in good standing. The longer the better that you've been paying on those obligations yeah. month to month and year to year. So, once again, I know, uh, <laughs> I'll say if Marquis was here, Marquis don't understand, what is a trade line? People, some people are like, what's a trade line? Like, am I trading something? <laughs> so, you know, some down for those who don't know. So, a trade line is basically whatever that you are applying for that is dealing with your credit. That is, um, if you're applying for a credit card, um, a credit card becomes a trade line. Mm. A personal loan becomes a trade line. Um, a line of credit, so the list really kind of goes on and on. Yeah. Whenever they have to run your credit, and you're, you know, you have these under your belt, these are your trade lines. The more that you have, again, and then you're showing that you're paying it on time, the better, the greater. Um, business side banks are looking for like cash flow. They're looking to see how money is coming in, how it's going out, um, what do you have left over after everything's been mm. paid for. So, um, not to discourage folks, but I just want to give you what oh, yes, typical you. banks are looking for. Mm -hmm. So, the way that I would, um, basically my advice whenever I have a first-time entrepreneur who is wanting to 
you know, still be able to get that business going, get it off the ground, and be able to build that business credit, is that you want to go through, there's actually, um, credit bureau-wise, I know that personal side is the Equifax Experian and Trans Union, mm -hmm. but there actually is um, a difference um, through trade lines in regards to business credit. Mm -hmm. So you do still have Equifax, you do still have Experian, but you also have what is done in Bradstreet. Um, they're actually the number one credit reporting for businesses. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're gonna use, that's gonna be the tool to get things started is going through Dun & Bradstreet. So dmb.com. Oh, I wanna make sure you gotta understand that because that's, that's a step a lot of people skip. They don't understand that you actually have a credit score for your business, mm -hmm. your score board. And it's Definitely. not uh, measured like your personal credit, the whole different metrics that's used to measure that. And one thing I wanna fall back on, so if I have cash app, I know we all got cash app. My, my, my daughter's 14, she got cash app, right? <laughs> <laughs> If I'm using my cash app to do my transaction, is that, is that a viable way to prove I got, I got funds coming in? No, you, you want, I mean, it, it does to a certain degree. Mm -hmm. um, again, especially, I guess, if you have your business account, it, at least it is going into a business account that is showing mm -hmm. that, that cash flow coming in. But um, obviously, um, checks are great. I know a lot, of, a lot of people in this day and age are getting away from checks. Yeah. But checks can actually be a great way to kind of fall I back on. Right check, so oh that. boy. <laughs> okay. You remember doing that in high school? school. You know what I'm saying? I'm learning in high school. You read bad. the check and write. Listen, I'm like, like this is going to the memo part? It's simple. Okay. Well, I had, <laughs> back in my younger years, I had a, a bank teller actually show me how to do it. Oh, I didn't wow. have the, you know, the luxury of yeah. having it in school. Listen, uh, clean, shout out to Cleveland Public Schools. Yeah. 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 Fail forward type of person. You learn the hard way. You don't want no memo on there. Hey, how much? Okay, two hundred dollars. <laughs> something something. X X yeah. slash one hundred and some cents. And right. I was writing cents. You were writing cents. I first started writing cents. Like nah, he ain't. Nah, he ain't. Nah, he ain't. It went through. But I ain't I had cents bumps. So you know. I mean, I'm about to get blank checks. Like he go boom. Now you know what I'm doing. Oh, okay, well, okay. I just made cent slash 100. So, okay, cool. Or <laughs> it automatically went through. Right. Okay. Right, right, you know? right. <laughs> <laughs> so, you said, you said checks is a valuable way, obviously. Yeah. So, and, and I know a lot of people use Zelle. They use all the different metrics, but I know, once again, we're not doing a proper way to get it documented so we can come to you and say, hey, bring this. That's how much I'm making. And you're looking like, according to this young man. <laughs> what is this? Right. Yeah. <laughs> And QuickBooks, oh, add that in there. QuickBooks really helps too mm. to help organize things as well. Yeah. Um, at a very low cost. So. QuickBooks is a bookkeeping software. Yes, for it. yes, okay. it is. And that way you can put all of them. You can pretty much categorize categorize everything that mm. you um, have coming in and coming out, and it will definitely help you when it comes to um, you know filing your taxes. When it just comes to just kind of keeping track of where you're at, yeah. you'll be able to get you know everything that you need right there using that. All right, listen, guys. You heard it. Just that in there. No, listen. <laughs> Simplicity. Um, but yes, Dun & Bradstreet. Um, this is where you can actually um, go on there and get your own Dun's number. So you can actually, um, almost like what you did with your EIM, but you're going to yeah. do it through through their um, website. It is free as well. Mm. I hear that free. <laughs> <For> free. <laughs> if, if Ray Ray is telling you it costs you 150 plus dollars to do it, well, it do cost 150 dollars because Ray Ray telling you that's what he charged. I guess you're right. So, but yeah, he, yeah. Hey, I know. If, I know. if Ray Ray, <laughs> listen, Ray Ray getting that bag, stop blocking on Ray Ray. I guess, I guess you're right. Nah, if you don't want to listen to Ray Ray. <laughs> you can do it for yourself. Right. You got a hard time doing it. Talk to one of these lovely people to the left, <laughs> or you can come to the Drake Center. Mm, exactly. Okay. Oh, yeah, I like how you plug that in there right there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because we in a community, like the biggest thing that this is, is about knowledge and education. And that's one of the main reasons why a lot of us fail as entrepreneurs mm -hmm. just getting started out, or why a lot of people don't even get started. Because they overthink the process and thinking that they don't know so much of this stuff, which is readily accessible. Is maybe people not even listening to the podcast to just pick up the one or two gems that's within that 
uh, uh, episode to really like elevate their thinking mm -hmm. to say, hey, now I got this. Now I can put this together. It's kind of like a puzzle. Yeah. Okay, cool. They, she told me exactly what to do step by step to go to the bank, to do this, to do that. Cool. I know I'm straight. If I don't know, this is the person I need to talk to. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So I really checked my last thing. All about resources. All bad, right, right. Do your thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do your <laughs> thing, bro. Right. Do your thing. Shame on me, too. Like, right. it's all about resources. And that's what we got to understand. That's what yeah. we have to start doing to just make it ourselves more accessible mm -hmm. to people, which you can put a cost on that for a consultation mm -hmm. or a free consultation. And now I think your cause is exceeded that. So now you need to have a one on one, yeah. right? Get paid yeah. for your time. That's I'm not true. telling you your time, my job. Because Drifty gave y'all all play. Y'all don't mess around. Get this. Use the information. Like I know how to do this now. So no, I'm about to charge. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> it makes more sense. Listen, idea for somebody. listen. It's yeah, you, seven you, billion people in the world. Yeah, you a play, y'all. Somebody is <laughs> out there for everybody, yeah. and if they don't want to do it, hey. You could start your own business, setting up businesses. If as long as you know the blueprint and know exactly what to do, and you're not confusing the people, yeah. setting up a business, and you got to go back and redo that, that's confusing and hard. Let alone that's money that that person may have to spend that they didn't have to in the beginning. What if it was just structured the right way? Okay. Think about that. We paid to do stuff the right way one time. Versus twice when we have to go back and fix it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, this, this is easy. This, I'm gonna start calling the guru, you know what I'm saying? Nah, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. It's a philosophical, don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> but so, so you say back, so but Brad's in Dunn Street, of course we need that or whatnot. We need to get that incorporated. Then what will be the next part though with that person we need? So when you're on there, you want to go ahead and register your business. Mm -hmm. um, from there, you're going to wait for them to like mail you in a code, and that's what you're going to use. You're going to use that code for your business profile. You're going to build the whole profile on that website okay. as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that way, now you're locked in. So with that, with going on there, structuring their own guns, um, do you need a physical location, or do you need? Can you use your home address when doing this? Good question. Um, so starting off, typically most people are using home address to kind of get things started. Again, as things, you know, gradually, you know, increase and, you know, you start to really build up, then of course you can always go in and, you know, make the necessary changes. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. So, you, okay. So you're in this at home, folks. Hey, from Listen. the house to the warehouse, <laughs> from the big, from the small house to the big house, <laughs> from the couch to the stove room. You, you heard it. So, hey. That's right. She just gave you the game. <laughs> so there ain't no excuses of why we can't do this. Simple steps. Yes. Let's get structured the correct way. That's right. Now, another good question would be, is do we need to have our own email? And um, uh, does it have to be Gmail? Or do we need to go and create something with a guy when this is particularly being structured in the process? Okay. That's also a very great question. Um, I would highly, yeah, I know. You can come over here with Austin. Good, good, good. Okay. Yeah, good, good, good. Come over here with Austin. Come over here with Austin. I would strongly recommend not to use, you know, personal emails. Um, definitely take the time and the necessary couple of dollars. You know, it definitely costs. Um, when it comes to businesses, but in the end, it will be worth it to set up your own business email. Um, yeah, so exactly. I can't use be nasty at gmail.com. Oh, for my gosh. Business, right? I wouldn't recommend that for your personal <laughs> email to use that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Eliminate immediately. Ice cream? <laughs> hey, Chuck, I don't always do that. We don't get into that. Well, but, you know, keep it, keep it professional. All right, all right, all right. Please, please. But yeah, more than just, you know, your first and last name at Gmail, you know, definitely um, incorporate that business in that email and do it the proper way. Um, again, spend a couple of dollars to get, you know, maybe your website and stuff um, also. GoDaddy is a great place, guys. Google also, uh, I, I, I use Google. Google actually simplifies it, so you got to look for a great place to create the website. That's who I recommend, by the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, do they come with a clause? They do, they do. But it's very, very about thinking about that. I'll pay 12, 12, hours, 12 hours a month. And they, they pretty much give it to you. And you, you, know, you can make it, you customize it. Mine is branded at uh, GayStreetSolutions.com. And so, it, what if, so think of it this way. For the listeners at home who don't have $12 a month to spend on this, 
what would be the more economic way for them? If, <laughs> I mean, I, I would say you because you're in banking. So <laughs> if I was coming to the bank mm -hmm. and I couldn't afford twelve dollars a month for a, a email structure through Google or GoDaddy, mm -hmm. is it okay for me to say the Drake Center Foundation at Gmail dot com up until I can afford to have an accurate professional email? Okay, okay. You know what? At the end of the day, yes. I mean, you have to start somewhere, okay. even if it has to be at the free level. And again, just gradually make the necessary changes as things get better over time. Okay. So that okay. way you're not stopping yourself from your potential. You know, you okay. know, the whole focus is to get that business up and going. So don't let an email stop you mm. from doing what you need that's, to do. That's what I'm getting yeah. to because a lot of times when people yeah. or a lot of listeners, they're looking at it from... Well, man, look, that's another thing I can afford. Right, but right. they don't want to sacrifice to be able to afford to set up the business to get to the capital. Mm -hmm. Not really thinking like mindset, right? Yeah. Hey, I got to give up something to get something baby to steps. understand. Baby like, steps. Like, baby steps. So I say that to say, like, hey, listen, if you at home and you're looking to get this stuff set up, she already pretty much gave you some simple steps for free. We giving you a free email. Look, go on e Gmail and set it up with some small, make the email small though. So, it ain't that difficult. Now nah, go, <laughs> go to the bank and hey, we in position. Is this uh, 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 is this the type of requirements that we need to get funding? Because mm -hmm. we're trying to get capital. Right? Mm -hmm. That's why we're building relationships with banks. Yeah. We want the bank's money. We want the bank to be our best friend. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So before I call the bank, the bank called me saying, "Hey, look, we got this new product out. Hey, come in and get it." <laughs> and I, I'm glad you said that because I, I, I want people to understand, like, to, to build a relationship with the bank because you just don't want to. I, I would say, like, it's actually crucial to have a relationship with, with someone like Brittany. Mm -hmm. You know, you just want to just, hey, I need a loan. No, like, build a relationship. I don't know you. I don't know you. So that's the thing about banking. When you, when you build a relationship, it's a track record. The same yeah. way in relationships yeah. outside of banking, it would kind of applies to all levels of life, right? Mm -hmm. It's hey, you treat me right, I treat you right. You run off and we gave you money. Don't come back and ask me for nothing. Exactly. Like, your account go negative, fix it. <laughs> uh, if they don't fix it, now nah, we just gonna cut ties with you, and then we gonna send you to the lectures. Now that's a different category, but it's it's kind of like it's a it's a it's a full circle of life type thing. Yeah. You treat the bank right. The bank won't treat you right. No, they don't overcharge you in fees every month. But listen, you got to pay for something. Yeah. I would rather have a relationship with uh, uh, with her at Fifth Third or whatever banking institution she's at to get the knowledge of what she has to be able to give it back to us mm -hmm. to be able to go out here and acquire whatever it is we're trying to acquire or even get capital just to perform in that actual business that we set up. Absolutely. And let that be a home song for my guys. Go to your local bank, who you bank with now, and build a relationship with that, with that personal bank. Yeah, definitely. What, what type of, so what, to, key, to key on that, what type of questions should, this, should these individuals go to the bank in search of, so let's say, capital, resources like you guys? What would you ask if, hey, I was just coming into the bank, I'm new, right? Yes, so one of the questions I do ask, and I will ask this on the personal end and even on the business end, if something emergency comes up, um, let's say an unexpected expense of $300, how are you going to be able to take care of that unexpected expense? This helps open the door for me to get an understanding of where you are financially. Um, this lets me know, do you have an emergency savings that you can go to? Do you have an emergency credit card that you might have to utilize for that particular expense? Mm. Um, and this will help us both to better understand either if they don't have something, what we can do to get something in place, or if they do have something where we might be able to do something a little different mm. um, that might be able to be more efficient and more effective for what you're trying to do. Okay, that's, well, that's a great tip. I think um, in business, starting out, and let's say from a business and a personal, do you guys offer products to help me build a better relationship within the banking if I'm struggling with credit issues? Okay. I love it. 
Like, he, that, that boy good. He, he be real good. He, wow. You guys have and I'm like, look, like, <laughs> me, y'all ain't no papers. <laughs> well, I mean, because, <laughs> you, you know, I'm just going to give you the game. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, for the people at home. I done been where you at, low and high. For mm -hmm. the, we speaking to all levels of people. Absolutely. Yeah. So, for me, it's kind of like one of those things. If I had a big brother or big sister in my life earlier mm -hmm. to teach me more about finance and about, like, the importance of keeping your credit good or building up the right portfolio, keeping this car versus don't do this and do that, we would be a lot further in life because we learn from other people's mistakes. Yeah. And that's what this is all about today because I want you to kind of gauge and understand that this just isn't about me. It's about actually you and speaking to all genres, uh, genres of people about in wherever you at, whether you up, whether you down, whether you still trying to get started, whether you, you're here, it's still all knowledgeable gems within this to help you succeed and go further, add on to what you have versus if you don't got nothing, this is perfect for you. Like, you got something, we still can build on that and we can always do better, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, absolutely, I definitely yeah. agree. Um, so, for the most part, um, definitely personal side um, and really business side, I'm just gonna just throw it out there on a general um, mm -hmm. note. Secure credit cards are very, 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 crucial and beneficial in regards to building credit. Um, personal secure credit cards, we do offer them. Y'all do? Okay, all right, what's the uh, Minimum is 300 to get started. Okay. And um, although it does come with an annual fee, but most most secure credit cards do. Yeah. Um, just because, again, you are looked at as potentially just being more higher risk because mm -hmm. you may not even have credit to begin with. Because mm -hmm. secure credit cards do help for those who are just getting their feet wet with it. Okay. Um, or those who maybe stumbled along the way and want to get back on track. Mm -hmm. okay. So it does help in both aspects. Okay. Um, now on the secure business credit card side, same logic, um, you're, you're using um, funds where they're gonna go ahead and secure those and lock those, put a freeze on it. And that's basically trading, I like to simplify it, is trading cash for credit. Mm. Okay, I like um, it. So what I was able to find out, now unfortunately, we don't offer a secure business credit card where I um, work at. However, I did do a little research the and found- The institution or the actual location? The, the full institution. Okay, cool. Third, Let's get to the bottom of it. Yeah. Uh, the secure part, hey, for you people with messed up credit, listen, $300 <laughs> to start out, yeah. and what's the limit? So that becomes your limit. So 300 is the minimum. Okay. Maximum you can go up to is 5,000. So again, this is gonna be based off of what you can afford. 300? To five thousand. So if you got the wallet, drop the five bands. For you don't who, who don't, drop the three hundred or start out at five hundred. And yeah. it's taxing y'all. I mean, you don't have no excuses now. Yeah, oh, 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 that's true. The bag, the drop. Yeah. So you might as well get your credit together with a secured, and then with the secured card, after a certain time period, if I'm not wrong, do they uh, like swap the money out and now get you into a better rated card? And give you back the deposit. Mm -hmm. Is that what you do with, with okay. this, this now institution? It, so it depends. Now, remember, the secure credit card is helping you as a foundational um, method of building that credit. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. down the road, let's say things are getting great. You know, you've had it for about a year and a half. Um, you're getting, you've gotten other credit cards on your belt. You know, at this point in time. Now, I do have certain people who decide to still keep that card because over time, sometimes the bank will match what you. We yeah, don't. so they will match it. Now we could. So, we could. Um, so maybe you went from three hundred to now six hundred. Maybe they decided to double it up for you, so you have mm -hmm. a little bit more spending power, that now credit utilization going. We could. Um, or you know, and I, I always encourage people to keep it because that's building your credit history, and mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to, you know, be so quick to snip that just because you have other credit cards you've been able to, you know, acquire over time. So a car like that, you would probably recommend with a balance of that magnitude. Gas purchases. Yes. But with that, my next question would be, mm -hmm. is is it more beneficial to pay it off every single time the bill comes or have a rolling balance? Ooh, that's a good question. Now, I did a little research on this too because I know that, you know, the assumption is, oh, if I keep a small balance month to month, mm -hmm. that helps better my credit, things like that. 
No, I've actually found out that no, that just helps the the company, the credit card company, get more, you know, get their money to work, mm -hmm. you know, so they're able to get that interest um, mm -hmm. off of you. So that's just kind of helping. <laughs> Again, that's full circle. Mm -hmm. um, so they they you know you scratch their back, they you know they scratch yours by yeah. keeping that card. But I would also recommend not maxing that credit card out. You know, month to month as well. So keeping your purchases low. Uh, what and was the percentage of the? So if you got a three hundred dollar limit. Credit utilization, guys. Keep it low. Keep it credit low. utilization, thirty percent or lower if you can, because the credit bureaus are looking to see that you are not so dependent on that credit card when you're having your max it out. Basic math: thirty percent of three hundred. It's 100, let's say it's 99, right? But we don't want to use 99. We want to use $70 per month. 70. So that's a date night, that's gas, that's groceries, whatever. However, if, you, if, you, if, if your diet small is $70 a month or whatever, hey, stick to what he's saying. Yeah. But what I know is if, if you like to go out and you, you know, hey, Valentine's Day just passed us. Hey, flowers, card, that's it for the money. You maxed. Mm -hmm. But when the bill come, talk about when should you pay off the bill mm -hmm. versus the due date. Ah, good question. Okay, so you definitely want, so there's different ways you can go about it. So certain people, I know some customers, they prefer to, when they swipe it, they go on their mobile app, they pay it right then and there. Oh, for them, it ahead. works. For them, <laughs> it works. I'm not knocking it. Um, for me, I wait till my credit card is due, do the easy old, go on the mobile app, again, technology is best, and just pay the bill then. Okay. Um, you can also go by your credit card statement. So definitely make sure that you're paying attention to your statements. Please, 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 that's also very important. Um, a lot of people sometimes miss um, maybe unexpected charges on there that now has kind of racked up that card. Again, you want to stay keeping that credit utilization down, so something unexpected hiking it up can really mess things up mm. budget wise and credit wise okay. um but you can go about the credit card statement because what you do want to be careful of is when you're making your payment if you make it too soon it can be considered as an additional payment versus being what you intended for it to be mm. which is that on-time payment according to your credit card statement so i have seen unfortunately some issues with that too mm. so credit card statement taking that couple of minutes to just look at your credit card statement um, the due date doesn't change. Usually if it's the 10th of January, it will be the 10th of February. So just, just keeping that in mind, um, even send them maybe an auto payment of maybe even the minimum at most. So that way you can get that positive ding on your credit. You can always pay additional payments, you know, as you go along the way, but that would be my recommendation. Mm. Okay. So what you're saying is, mm, yeah. for the people at home, if you make the payment by the due date, may not register, right? But if you do do it, 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 it might register, it says two payments. So you still gonna be ahead of the game, but if you're really trying to play with the, with, with the bank money, let's, let's do what she just said do. Let's just follow the guidelines of reading the statements, mm -hmm. breaking it down, to look at the interest rate, look at what we may be charged for, what we're not getting charged for, and just know like, look, man, pay what you use. Right? Mm -hmm. Just pay what you use. Like, let's just keep it honest. Let's be 100 about it. You used it, pay it off. Because once you pay it off and it clicks, you can go back and do it again. <laughs> I'm not telling you not to use your card. I'm just giving you a more strategic way right. for the person who is struggling with credit yeah. and who has challenges of getting a credit card. Now, this is a kicker. This is what I know. So, this is a little gem gem I'm going to give you. If you want to be player about it, like player. Go ahead, go to Fifth Third. Do you have to be a member to get this secure credit card? Well, I mean, it always helps because what the secure credit card does consist of your funds being in a savings account for us to mm -hmm. kind of put that. Cool. Mm -hmm. So she just gave you the game. Go to the bank, set up an account with her. She gonna yeah. get you a savings account. Drop two racks in that account, right? You never had a credit card before. Drop two thousand in that account. Drop what you can put in there. I'm yet. Call Ray Ray, make sure he's doing LLC stuff. Ray Ray, give me the bread, I'm gonna put it in the account. Boom. Now you got two bands in the account. Now you got a $2,000 credit card. So now, after 60, 90 days, if you do need to apply for a credit card after making payments on that and it's hitting your credit profile, now the credit card companies will be more reluctant 
to give you a higher credit card to give with. Think about that. You start with a 300, hey, they're gonna keep giving you 300. But if you start with a $2,000 one, and they see that you've been making payments, and you got good payment history and you good like that, well, the, the, the flow is 2 k The floor is 2000 Am I right or am I wrong? No, you're absolutely right. Yeah. It's most standard credit, credit cards. When you get a, even get a secure credit card, the limit is maybe five at most. Yeah, yeah. Or something. yeah typically. And even if they gave you five, it was, it's more than what you had. That's now true. you just build up a relationship with them after six months, Hey, um, uh, Mr. Credit, uh, Miss Credit, hey, I've been making payment. Where's my increase? Well, let's see. Soft pool inquiry. Hey, we can give you two thousand dollars now. Now you got forty five hundred in credit. <laughs> Does he give you a whole play right there? I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying because that's the, some of the times as as people what we do is we outthink ourselves out of doing things and we really don't know that hey listen if i had five thousand dollars cash go put it on a secure credit card now they have to give you a five thousand dollar credit card when you go apply because it's kind of embarrassing to them for them not to even make you qualify to get it in they don't see that it's a secure credit card they just see that you are already five thousand dollar credit card worth and it's from a, 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 a well-known A-plus banking institution? You go to all your banks, y'all got five bands. Oh, well, yeah, we can give you five bands too. Oh, well, yeah, we can give you 10. Oh, well, we can give you this. Oh, we can, now you're looking at $30,000 in credit cards? Then you come to the direction and we teach you how to learn that. <laughs> I, 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 you know what I'm saying? I said we're into that bad boy. You know, I'm just saying because, like, think about it. When this is the thing about we coming here today at this table because we setting up plays for people. Absolutely. And when I tell you we setting up plays for people, if you got thirty thousand dollars in credit and you come to someone like herself and me and 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 and, and the pull up experience with everybody, like, let's say we just did a a a a, a, a meet and greet. Of every episode, mm -hmm. you can get something from every single podcast interview Let's to where just, hey, put listen, out there. me with drinks on y'all. Boom, <laughs> that's coming up. And I'm just saying, like it's a reunion. Yeah. It's so much that you can get when you are in position with credit because credit outruns capital, which is cash. They all the same thing, but credit lasts longer than cash. So if you got the credit, what? How much is this business idea? Swipe. Cool. It's gonna bring me what type of return? Swipe. <laughs> cool. What's the minimum payment? Pay it. As long as you keep your payment history together, just keep in mind that interest is gonna accrue on that. So you want to pay it off as fast as possible, but be intentional about what you're doing, and you won't fail. Just be intentional. It's not free money. You got to pay it back. Be strategic with it. If you be strategic about it and you use that money to get something that's going to replace it as an asset. Now, 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 now you're talking about bad stuff, y'all. We still, we still love the one, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Cause, 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 I, the, the, the listeners, yeah. you might have somebody in here that's already like, look, I just don't know how. I'm already in position. Mm -hmm. What do I do? Just gave you the play. Go get your secure credit card. Open with an account. She's gonna put it in the savings account because you're gonna bank with her. When you go to the bank, I want her. Well, it's gonna be 15 minutes. It's cool. Right. It's gonna be 30. It's cool. Yeah. Can I get some water? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, hey, well, book me, book me an appointment, come back, and she gonna meet with you and tell you what you need to do. That's the thing about this. When you got people in position and in power, and they and they and they can tell you everything to a T, exactly how they help their clients get this and get that, why wouldn't I want to bank with her? She's a person of color anyway. Who wouldn't have my best interests? Not to have anything against any other bankers, but I'm just saying, like, at the end of the day, hey, just keep it to, give it to me how you give it to me. What I need to do? Look, you messing up. You need to do this and do that. Okay, cool. I'll see you in 30 days. And keeping with that, so what are some, what are some do's and don'ts? What are some things that I absolutely should not be doing if I want to qualify for, for fitness? I mean, for, for the funding for my business. So, if we're trying to get that business, you know, up and going, I would definitely, again, I would make sure personal, whether it's beginning or down the road, getting that, that credit together, 
But also, what I would do, just to kind of baby step it and get it where we need to go as far as building that business credit, is you can start off by doing vendor credit. Because mm. um, vendor's credit is going to allow you to get invoices where it'll give you some time to pay um, whatever supplies and things like that that you purchase, merchandise, to get your business um, you know, inventory together. You can use Uline. Um, there's also Granger out there and I use, Quill. I use Uline. Shout yeah. out to Uline, by the way. Yeah, Shasta. yeah. So these are great. Endorse the show, Uline. <laughs> <laughs> it's Quill. So you want to drop that, drop yes. that line. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. And this is going to help you. It's almost like, you know, just foundational wise, getting that, you know, rapport built up mm -hmm. um, in regards to, you know, paying your monthly, paying those invoices on time. And that way you can better um, your build your business credit that way. Um, it's going to allow you to make those purchases with agreements, um, interest free, um, and then just getting that balance taken care of um, sooner rather than later. Um, like Drake had to go out out there. So yeah. No, listen. And uh, one of the things that I like about business credit versus personal credit, they give you thirty days. Like you have, or you have some accounts that are they call them net net thirty, net sixty, net ninety, mm -hmm. net ninety, or mm -hmm. twenty. Right, that's one. Mm -hmm. right. You have that amount of time to pay it back or whatnot. So if you, let's say for me, I had a vending machine business, guys, and I brought some off a quill, and I had 60 days to pay him back the full amount. Now, I had the money for the vending machine, but it's how you, once again, you get the play to use, leverage yeah. what you have to get what you want, right? right. So don't, 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 don't minimize when you're strategic about what you're doing, how it can play out. Because I had the money for the vending machine, but I used my business credit to get it. And I let it play out for the 90 days, and once again, I'm building business credit at the same time. There you and go. I just pay off the rest of whatnot. And so. that business credit is being reported to, to Duns and Brush Street, so Absolutely. that way it can only help better you to your next phase. Um, what you can now start to do after some time is look for some store credit. Um, store credit is also going to help you to be able to leverage using someone else's you know, money, you know, by utilizing a credit card versus your own mm -hmm. personal funds to pay for whatever it is that you may need to do. It's gonna help you with that trade line. So it's gonna add that additional trade lines that you're needing and help with the expansion of your business. Mm -hmm. So um, again, but just keeping those facts that Drake gave us of keeping that credit utilization, um, you know, keeping it in balance, keeping it controlled, I should say, don't mm -hmm. go crazy. Um, but now you can start getting, you know, some nice added benefits and perks, um, again, as you're gradually getting that credit mix going as well. Mm. Um, so kind of going back to what you were talking about in regards to secured credit cards. Again, I told, we talked about the personal one. There is a secured business credit card out there. Now, the one that I found that seems to be um, what most people should be able to get is the Wells Fargo secured business mm. credit card. Um, very good reviews. Um, minimum five hundred dollars to kind of get um, get you in the doorway in regards to that. Mm. Um, there's also even some rewards behind it. So credit cards, please utilize the rewards come that come um, okay. come along with your credit cards too. People tend to forget that. Yeah. Um, so those rewards hint, can hint. sometimes better you. You know, yeah. Yeah. Product. Hint, hint. That's right. That's right. Um, now this does require you to have um, with Wells Fargo their you know business checking account as well. But again, you can just be able to utilize that so that way you can be able to take advantage of that perk of getting that secured credit card and locking it in. So that way you will have, you know, a way to be able to better, better report to those credit bureaus on the business side credit reporting. Um, so that's gonna be an exceptional way for people with bad or poor credit. That is the key with this. Because business credit cards are very, um, again, they can be sometimes a little bit of a task trying to get. Um, so this is gonna help you to get in that doorway so that way eventually you can get an unsecured business credit card where you don't have to worry about you know, locking in your own funds to do so. Mm. So that's some homework for y'all. Yeah. To be honest, go on Google, mm -hmm. search Simple as Google. secure credit cards, who offers them? For wherever state you're in, because some of these banking institutions you may not have access to, right? But I say that to say, if you already are in the credit union, talk to your credit union, see what type of banking products they have. Talk to all your local banks. Just go in there and say, hey, I'm interested in opening up an account. What type of projects do you have? Or if you're already a member, these are the types of questions that you should be asking because it's only gonna help you um, uh, for the lifeline of your business. Or even, I mean, for the people who work. Like, to be honest with you, there's nothing wrong with having access to capital. 
There's nothing wrong with having access to capital. Like, let's just get that stigma out of your mind. They told you credit cards is just for emergencies. They lie. They lie. Right. <laughs> like, credit cards are meant to be used for things other than emergencies. Like, to be honest with you. Because if you know how to use the credit cards to, to leverage them and to have be more beneficial to you, you would be more reluctant to go ahead and start looking for these types of things and finding out exactly who offers what, how to get it, and what you need to do to position yourself to get the best results of the max approval rates. Like, to be honest with you, everybody wanted American Express, but everybody can't get one. Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah. Because, and that's the, but, but that's being honest though. Right. That's being honest. That's true. The biggest thing about it though it is, is once you do get it, how do you keep it? How do you leverage it to go get other American Express? How do you get interest-free business credit cards? How do you run the play and get other things? It starts with foundation. Yeah. Just getting the foundation of the fundamentals together, you'll be fine. But just understand that your race and my race is two different races. Run your own race. Yeah. And just know, like, this is possible. Like, she just gave everything. We just gave you gems to where you can go out and run the play immediately tomorrow on a Friday. Just just go and do it. Like, and I like how you said that because if you can't handle your own personal credit cards, what do you think you're going to do the business credit cards? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, serve back the fundamentals. Get that, get that structure right. You know, be disciplined with your money. Be disciplined with paying these things back because. Yeah. Even though credit is not your money, you still want to make sure you leverage it in the right way so you can use it, like you said, for any endeavor you want to do. But you got to be able to show yourself worth it. Yeah. It, it. You know, it's so funny about credit. It's, this is so funny. Because people have so many different opinions about it, but at the same token, it's credit. Mm -hmm. Like it's There's credit. no way around it. There's yeah. really no <laughs> way around it. But if people who have it, they live a little bit, li a little bit li better life than you because they have it. And for the people who do have it, we kind of speak the same language. Like when you can travel for free off a credit card, I just mm -hmm. earn your points while the money you spend per month, that's a different type of feeling because mm -hmm. it actually separates us. Like I could get into a lounge, a private lounge, because I have this car and you have to sit where you sit. <laughs> like literally. That's all about me being a coach, bro. I'm just being honest. <laughs> but like, no, literally. Like we go to the airport, we got the same flights. <laughs> So we the got the same right, everything, you know but no, but, to, but hear me out. We at the airport, we got the same access, everything like that. Why is it I can eat and drink for free and my guest, mm -hmm. and you can't? I'm getting the All from, yeah, you're going to get if they, if, they them them, if they give them to you. If they give them to you. But when you have a card, it gives you access to different amenities of the, of the travel. Like, seriously, you sit in different lounges. You rub elbows with different people. It's a different feeling just by having one simple car. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we get real deep in there, but like you're saying, that's opening the doors. And once again, when you, let, when you take yourself to that next level in your entrepreneurship journey, guys, like you said, having access to different funds with different rooms, different people. Even while you work. Like, this is for the, this podcast, this is for the nine to five person. This is for the person who works and, has an entre and is an entrepreneur. This is for the full time CEO. Like, this is for all genres of people. This ain't just for people who are entrepreneurs. This is for people that, look, if you're interested, these are fact-proven steps to get you started. And if you are already started, we just adding more fuel to your fire. <laughs> That's it. Like, let's just be honest and call it what it is because a lot of times, and we as people, again, we outthink ourselves out of simple things. Simple things is, oh, that's not real, that's not true. Well, it is, because Larry, Curly, and Mo, and, and Johnny, they're doing it. I see Lisa over there, she living her best life. But if you knew Lisa, that whole outfit Lisa got on, she earned that off of credit card points, reward points for free, you might want to listen to what Lisa got to say. Because you paid cash for that outfit, she got that for free off reward points. Of paying her bills each month off her credit card. That's next level right there, y'all. But <laughs> I mean, I'm just giving it to you, really. No, no, you're right, you're right. Because uh, first class flights, different hotel stays. We stay in the same hotel, but we stay in different rooms on different levels. We ride in the same elevator, but we're not getting off at the same floor. <laughs> You just made a job dropping. I'm just <laughs> like saying, that. all because of we got access to a credit card. 
Right. That's different. Right. We sitting in different pools and spas because we got credit cards and you don't. What? There ain't no real cars, but hey, I need a real car. Okay, cool. We got one for you. Land at the same time at the airport. That's different. And when you learn the game, you can apply those things and you can live differently too. It's simple. And shout out to you, by the way, because you, you, you have given us quite a bit tonight. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> no, no, no. And like, you pretty much laying the foundation, like you said, because what he's saying is what well, you do with Mr. Critic. She's laying the foundation for if you If you start day one, you 18, you've been an entrepreneur, let's say, for the last two years since you've been 16, right? Now, you have the game of how you can leverage it's like a credit to be able to get to the next level. Yeah. Right so thank everything, you. you're welcome. And just keep in mind, everything is, credit is not done in a day. It takes time. It takes time. It takes time. Most people expect it to be here this year. <laughs> 500 here, 700 tomorrow. It does not work no. that way. But it will be worth every step that you take to mm -hmm. get there. You'll appreciate it so much more. I took a lot of time, I literally say, Especially because I, I, I remember people who jacket cut it up, and one of the things I tell them, I say, listen, it took time for you to jack it up, it took time to get, it, to get it right. Yes, <laughs> you heard absolutely. about that. Yeah. Exactly. Same. And if anybody say otherwise, they gon' they they it's all bad. You gonna be you, you gonna be in jail. Don't yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah. You go to jail like Wednesday night. Right. So, I, and one of the things I like about the pull-up experience, like we, we we talk about the business part, but we get a chance to know the person and whatnot. Tell tell me about you. You know what I'm saying? Cause you were built by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, thank you. you know what I'm saying? Like, thank like, you. Like, okay. tell, tell tell us a little. Tell us what you what what, what, what future endeavors you have in the future. Um, well, you know what? Um, as a mother of two boys, oh. um, yes, two boys, 13 and 11, so they wow. keep me busy. They keep me very hey. busy in that regard. Um, just really making sure that they're good. So I definitely want to focus on them, their schooling and everything, but on a personal level, personal level for myself, um, I am in training to try to become a branch manager eventually. So, no, we're going to do that. You're right. Speaking into existence. I, I like that. <laughs> I am in training to become a branch manager. So, so I can only <laughs> Like you know what? We're we'll, we'll, we'll we sitting next to the branch manager. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to look at the interview. We're like, we remember we had Brittany on. She not, now she's she 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 not she, she regional branch manager. Yeah, you know what right. she, hey, she, did she call you back yet? <laughs> right, right. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, play, I'll play back for him. I'm like, hey, you remember this interview? Uh, <laughs> I remember. We don't like that. I remember how to bear it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? She was all paying pictures and then I got my own school back. Right, 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 right. right, 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 right. <laughs> Yeah. Right. <laughs> definitely, definitely. But no, that's that's dope. Like seriously, that's dope. And again, you know what I'm saying? Like you're a mother too, so it's like especially boys. Uh, my coach, uh, basketball for uh, you know the youth, and then too like this center. It, uh, that's what we all about. So it's like too, if your sons ever want to come here, like we got PS5 and Xbox things like that. We go get more into the youth to where yeah. to build them up to know like as a man. You know, it's okay for you to express yourself and even for you to be a young boy. Like, you have things that you, you know, aspire to be, but it may not be that male uh, uh, audience. Yeah. But here at the Drake Center, you know, that's something that we look to do with young men. Seriously. Oh, awesome. So, you know what? You know Seriously. what? Maybe we, we can get Miss uh, Brittany back on. Come back at the Drake Center so we can go do do a, 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 a seminar on credit or whatnot. Yeah, I would love that. Yeah. I don't know why. Because I mean, me, 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 <laughs> talked about before. We talked about doing something like that before. Yes, so. we did. And then we got the, we got the man, the myth, the That's legend right, right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now we're really putting it together. Now. I, I, I wouldn't tell you, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for God. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. here, and uh, I'm telling you this the most humblest way. Like, if it wasn't for God, I would mm -hmm. not be in the position I'm in. I wouldn't have what I have. I wouldn't be able to do the things that I do on a daily basis. So, anytime. You know, people, I, it's all about God. Zane and me. I'm telling you, seriously, like, because every day I wake up, I think about those things. And I think that, you know what I'm saying, we as people, we don't have to go to work. We get to go to work. We get to do the things that we love to do and passionate about all because of the higher power. And I think that as people, we have to start to really, like, understand that we get to do these things. We don't have to do them because what if things were different? Like, we get to do this. Like, that's a different type of mindset to have. We get to go to work and provide for our family. We get to, you know what I'm saying, educate the people and give them the game mm -hmm. and different experiences, pros and cons, 
and you know, uh, well, indifference about opinions and things like that. So it's like we get to do these things. That's a privilege. That's a blessing. For real. And that's what we got to understand, like, as a people. And our purpose in life, like, when you really define yourself and your purpose, you get to do these things and you want to do these things. So it's like it's a fire. Like, it burns. And you're like, you know what I'm saying? To see somebody else succeed or to help somebody else. It's like, even for you, being a mom with two boys, like, it's so many other women out there who listening to this 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 particular interview. I'm sure they're going to be able to get something and to know it. And she's just like me. And that's why I like, that's why I will, like, I, I, in the bank, I'll be like, nope, I'm going to her. Cause I, <laughs> I know you're passionate about helping people out. And I, I, I appreciate that about you, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you work with the people. Like, mm -hmm. me and you have conversations. And I'm like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm going to buy you, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm going to buy the Like, you know what I'm saying? I come back, people, hey, Brittany, you got to help people. You're like, no, you did. You know what I'm right, right, right. You got to love this. I appreciate it. That's why I, I, I appreciate you being on the show, because once again, we don't want just anybody in here. We don't want nobody to get information. Just you know what I'm saying? No, yeah. someone who's passionate about, someone who wants to give back to people, and that's what you did tonight, by the way. So yeah, thank you. Well, thank mm -hmm. you. I appreciate it so much. So I got one last question for you. Sure. What are three things you want someone, when they watch the episode tonight, that they get from tonight episode? Okay. Well, um, for one, I hope that it helps get you a little bit more knowledge base on personal credit, because mm -hmm. again, whether it's before you even get your business started or in the midst of getting everything together, eventually you want to get that personal credit together. But for two, I hope that it helps to help you to know that you can still build your business credit even if your personal is poor credit. Mm. So I'm just hoping that you're able to go through, um, like I said, Dun and Bradstreet and just do the build the building blocks to get you higher and higher um, in regards to getting that business credit off the ground and up and going and flourishing. And uh, thirdly, um, I just hope that this sparks someone who were maybe on the fence about wanting to do a business because I don't know where to begin. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's any potential for me to get um, you know, credit or get my business off of the ground. Hopefully this gave them some type of encouragement to just go ahead and just step out on faith and do it. So those would be my three. No, no, no. Was a good three, you know what I'm saying? You fast forward to the, to the end, you know what I'm saying? She gave you three, she gave, she gave you great things right there in itself. So, how can people reach you? Um, so by email, so my first name, but a little different. So, first name is Brittany B R I T T A N I dot oh. night K N I G H T at symbol fiber.com. Um, you can be able to reach me through email. Um, feel free to go to fiber.com and you can look up the Euclid branch if you would like to book an appointment with me so we can have more of a one-on-one -on -one discussion um, in regards to anything that was discussed tonight. Mm -hmm. And I also have to show those guys that so you want to book an appointment with Brittany who will be the mm -hmm. so. so, okay. The book right through the link. That's how we do it when we put it in Spanish. Oh, oh, okay. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, we got the commitment for when we do part two, when we do, when we at the Drake Center, we're going to be teaching on credit. That'll be, that'll be right. you know, the second episode. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, too. Maybe in like a summer youth program yes. type of uh, different yes. experience for like high school kids. Yes. Just one on one mm -hmm. fundamentals with banking. I, mm -hmm. I think that would be awesome. Yeah. Seriously. That's what I'm talking about. This, this, like, like my man Drake would say, relationships. Yeah. <laughs> like, seriously, because that's I mean, right. that's the thing. Right. If we get the kids now in, in that fundamental growth, mm -hmm. like, imagine what a 10-year-old a, a and a 12-year-old can learn right now yeah. that we didn't get when we was 10 or 12, but we got 20 years worth of trial and error yeah. and experiences for them to just yeah. skyrocket. Yeah. yeah, so they'll have to go through the hurdles. You know what like, do you, we didn't already did it for you. Yeah, I did. We, no. Yes. Now, if you choose to do that, that's because you chose to do it. But when you say, I told you so, come back, come on, we fix it. Hey, we fix it. Yes. Yeah. yes. I, I appreciate you. And listen, listen I, 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 I can't thank you enough for what I said. I said, I got to get you on. And I know, you know what I'm saying, this was out your comfort zone. I know we talked about that, you know what I'm saying. Oh, wow. So shout, yeah. shout out to you, by the way. You know thank what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, gentlemen, for helping me feel very comfortable oh. and welcome and help make this experience oh, even more better. Sure. Shout out to our guest host. Like the, our very first guest host. We got Mr. We got the, we got Mr. Drake on. You know, no, I said for me, you know, it, 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 the pull-up experience, you know, we had champagne. And we just have a good time. <laughs> yeah. you know, seriously, like the first oh, yeah, episode yeah, we yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's like, just, he's probably walking by. That's how it is. That's a staple. Like, you hear it, hey, you just wild, you 
how much you want? Drinks? What you? Okay. Hey, you I know. Can get all my popcorn. Let's see. <laughs> See, that, that's because we feed the homeless every weekend. That's not right. So Saturdays, that's, right. um, that, that's going into the bag tomorrow. Oh, um, because really. every every weekend here, like I said, for us, is love day. So yeah. every Saturday, we focus on feeding them and giving them a positive word. Mm -hmm. And just that's what love day is about. Random act of kindness. Where it's, it's even if you paying for somebody coffee or you paying for somebody lunch. It's just you putting it in the universe. To say, hey, listen, somebody did something nice for me. I want to do yes. it for them. And then I want to do it for them. And I want to do it for them because it's kind of like if you don't do it for somebody else, that'll make you feel some kind of way. I know, like, oh, this person paid for me. And, like, I can't pay for the person behind me. It's like selfish. Mm -hmm. And you kept the whole vibe of what we was trying to do. Like, with everybody. Imagine if, if everybody just paid for somebody else's stuff. One day out of, out of the week. One day, everybody just paid, like it was a triple effect, right? Like yeah. dominoes, like you knock this one down, yeah. and it just happened all across the globe. Do you know what that would type of energy that would put out? Yeah, no, in Cleveland, we got to change the energy that we got now, man. So like, on there. Just one. Yeah. I mean, but you know what I'm saying? It starts somewhere, yeah. and that's why, like, for here, I want you to come here, you know what I'm saying? I want to give you everything I've got because I've already paid for it. I did everything for you. Yeah. So you coming through that door. You just making a donation. Mm -hmm. What well, Jay say? Hope do that, so you get hopefully you don't go through that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's the thing. We as people, when we get in a position of power, now we reach back. Whether you choose to, hey, do whatever you want to do with it, that's up to you. But I gave it. Mm -hmm. I gave it to you, and I was willing to give it to you. So who's really at fault? Man, listen, you, every time I see this man, you know what I'm saying, you're already dropping, you know what I'm saying, some philosophical stuff, I'll be over here in the corner like that, you know what I'm saying? Back you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. right. Okay. Yeah. I'm, telling you. I'm telling you, that's what we got to start doing as people. When we start to, like, help out more people, and, like, even as you, as a, as a, as a, as a woman of color and as a mother, if, just imagine if you was just out here and helping more mothers or more women who just, look, financial literacy. Mm -hmm. Y'all need to know the importance of why you need to make account. Look, look, little sister, your bank account is negative. You're overdrawn. Listen, let me just put a bug in your ear. Whatever you do, it is up to you. But um, let me help you. We all fall on hard times. I know I didn't have overdraft fees. I didn't let them just rack up, rack, 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 rack. Because I had it. I did. But I say that. I say that proudly. To say at one point in time I was embarrassed, like, right? but it was look I overdraw it. I wasn't gonna make it. Hey, I ain't paying that back up until I realized the bank is my friend. Yeah, not the enemy. The bank is not the enemy. I use their money. I overdraw my account. I gotta be an adult about it, and I gotta fix that. And once I did, we forgive you. Look, keep it on the right track, and we're gonna go back to the same old one we had. So. That's what you do. You ain't got to, don't be out here kicking it. You ain't got to fake it till you make it. You ain't got to front. You ain't got to impress nobody who ain't got it. Because that's all we be doing. We spend money for people who don't even be having it themselves. You ask a person to show you their bank account, well, why you want to see my bank account for? Like, well, what, huh? What's wrong with them? Like, nah, you, well, what's up? Think about it. That's true. Well, like, it's every time we talk about money, it be a sensitive subject. Let's not, like, let's change the whole, look, we're talking about money. Either you got it or you don't. If you don't got it, let me help you get some. And if you do got it, let me help add on to what you got. Now we can all come together and we can do something collectively as a group. Mm -hmm. If you strong, I'm strong. If I'm strong, you strong. We come together as a chain. They can't stop us. They cannot stop us. It say that in the Bible. <laughs> when two or three, going, when, 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 two, when two or more come together, you already know what type of vibes we on. It's, we speaking about abundance. We speaking about everything that you should have as a person. Like it's your birthright to have abundance. It's your birthright to never go without, to not lack nothing. That's your birthright. We choose otherwise. You hear the younger this man? He, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I know. Everybody like said every time I talk to this man, it's a profound <laughs> conversation. And I know, you know what I'm saying? He'll he, he, he be dropping the I don't, don't want to give away too much, too much tonight, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so this is episode 27, and we'll have you back on. Yes, absolutely.
Y'all, 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 Next to the regional manager, right? Right, right. <laughs> right. You're talking right. director, director. You know what I'm saying? Mean, like, it's, hey, I remember when you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, what's up? Oh, yeah, that is him. Let him up. Oh, you be like, wow. That's <laughs> real. We, we, we speaking but that. Seriously, you know what I'm seriously, it's different when you connect it and you get to see people in their growth. Yeah. Like, you gonna look back and be like, man, I remember. Mm. Hey, Ma, ain't that you? Like, you remember you? I'm telling you, when you get to speaking things into the existence, yeah, like, it it's, it's different. Yeah. It's different. Because it's going to happen. Because you're forcing the universe to align now and really go after what you, you want. You can't trick the universe. The universe knows when people pull shit. That's why they don't get the results that they want. you trying to play. You can't play both sides of the fence. Either you want it or you don't. Mm. And if you do want it, you know what you got to do to get it. So make the sacrifices and let's go. All right, y'all, listen, my man, you, hey, I'm going to start calling uh, uh, the pastor of money, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Let's you know, go. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Stuff, y'all. Let's go. We're going to close it out, y'all, after 27. we see y'all next time, y'all. Till next time. Till next time. Yeah. Seriously. Like, man, it be so much, like, when you talk about financial business, when you talk about, like, the reason why people struggle, why they don't have what they need and things like that, it ain't about work. 